guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification button, and give me a like. Well guys, today we're going to be facing a JBL. It is a PRX800 series, guys. Alright guys, so today we're going to be changing the diaphragm um, to this speaker. Again, it's a JBL. It's a 800 series. Um, the reason we have to change this is because every so often, um, you know, bands, Nordanios, when they come to the club, uh, depending on the engineer, the sound technician, um, you know, it's, it's wear and tear basically when it comes down to it because all the frequencies in the speakers, they change, they vary, and so it's a time, guys. Right? So let me show you the process. If any of you uh, club owners have these type of speakers, the JBLs, we can show you here uh, really quick. It's easy, it's simple. Um, so let me show you. Alright guys, so here we go. We're going to start by taking off all the screws around the box. Taking the top off. Alright guys, so while I start doing this, let me show you the bands that have uh, came through and show you why we have to change this, uh, the tweeter on, on the box. I got the junkies, I got the junkies! So three years with these boxes and the tweeters barely went out. Not a bad deal, guys. Like I said, it's an easy fix. It's wear and tear. I'm glad I could just uh, fix it myself. All right, guys. So we have here two cables and we want to make sure that um, we get everything right on this so we don't mix, mix up the cables. So in here we have positive and we have negative. So we have this solid color is our positive and this uh, striped uh, cable would be our negative. And so all you have to do, it's really simple, just pop this out. There you go. This you just twist off from the cone. Pack, um, package our diaphragm. On this one you'll see it has this little tab that's that's our negative and these are positive because it doesn't have anything I'll show you the link in the description down below so you can see where I got this um, it'll have four screws right here All right, guys. This is the clean part. So right now we'll need a towel to clean this off. Make sure dirt is out of there. Now it does have some glue right here guys from uh, 
the manufacturer. So what we're going to do is just pry it open with a screw. With the sorry, with the flathead. And again, guys, this is our old one. If you feel the difference, the manufacturer one feels a bit heavier than this one. This is what it came with. So it's just a tiny bit heavier, but it's the same model. So it, it'll, it'll work. Um, I guess like I told you guys before, it's all due from uh, wear and tear. Again, what you guys are going to want to do is make sure that if there's any residue or any thing, just wipe it off. And again, guys, again, you're going to want to light, you're going to want to line up. This is a positive right here, and it shows right here a little negative sign. Line, line it up and make sure it's it's where it should be. Again, remember guys, I told you before, the, the, the one that we ordered on Amazon does have a little mark right here. So we know that that's a negative. Once it's there, line it with your, And it is a magnet, guys, so you guys have to sort of mess around with it a little bit. Okay. There's our negative, a positive. And now, try to find everything. All right, guys. So here we go. Negative is with this uh, color right here. Positive is a solid color. All right guys, so what I'm about to do is just with the highlighter, uh, mark the date that I service the speaker when I change the tweeter. Makes it easy for me. I, I have four boxes, so I know which one has been serviced, what day. All right guys, so there you have it. Uh, this was an easy fix. It really took me about a good uh, five minutes because like I said before, I've done this before. Um, again, it happens because it's a wear and tear type of thing. Um, it's it's really common, so it cost the, so the part cost me about twenty five or thirty dollars. I'll put the link below uh, so you guys can see where 
um, you guys can purchase them. Um, like I said, I have a lot of uh, events that I do, like uh, bodas, quinceañeras, just regular dances. And um, so, yeah, guys, it's fixed. It's easy to fix. And we will see you next time, guys. <laughs>